Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next war recap video. This one was against free elect, I guess free elections, and um, a level 11 clan, so we were expecting a pretty tough war. Uh, turned out it actually wasn't as close as we thought it would be, and uh, looking at what they did to our bases, they got uh, some a few one stars in our 11s, and then mostly two stars in our 10s, and then kind of intermittent three stars in our town hall 9s. So not the best performance from them, and uh, we left a number of uh, 11s two or one starred, mainly because I think towards the end the war wasn't very close. We were going for three stars. We probably could have gotten a few more of those two starred, and then had a number of town hall uh, ten, three stars along with a few uh, town hall or a number of town hall ten three stars along with all the town hall nines being cleaned up. So, uh, good job to everyone with Genesis. And yeah, you can have a level 11 clan. You don't get any more perks. They haven't made perks, but the XP keeps going up and up. So, I assume at some point they'll add more perks uh, to level 11, 12, uh, that stuff, as clans get that high. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at a few attacks. We have some baby dragons to show. It's going to be a fun recap. I'm um, going to focus mainly on these higher level attacks because uh, the Town Hall 9 bases just weren't that great. We'll only take a look at like one of those. But anyway, uh, we're looking at Vietha, taking on this ring base at Town Hall 11, comes in with the Queen to uh, take out the CC troops, create the funnel on one side, then he'll come in with the Golem, the King, and uh, create the funnel on the other side for his Valks. Goes ahead and pops the Queen's ability, and hopefully people that watch my videos on a regular or even semi-regular basis now um, know how to beat this base, because you've seen this ring base so much uh, on the channel, and uh, it, 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 it really, if you know the formula to three star it, you can take out your equivalent level base, you know, if you have max Valks and just the basic offensive uh, things you need. So hopefully those of you 10s and 11s out there now have a very good idea how to plan for this type of base. So uh, at the very least I can say maybe I taught you guys that. So anyway, it comes in, the king does go down, but he's done his job. He created the funnel. Also didn't have to waste a jump there. Went Did two layers of wall breakers to let the king in. So has more spells for the Valks. And I like what Vietha does, because he has the warden with the Valks, obviously, which is something you want to do. But he pops the warden's ability early, and then uses the, the spells and the Valks later. So uh, the warden's ability, the eternal tomb, is probably the most powerful uh effect you can give on to the Valks. It's more powerful than any spell you can do. So you want to do it early while all the Valks are still alive as they're just entering that core rather than later when you might only have like a fraction of them left. And uh, that way he can hold on to his spells a little later because for you know two to three seconds, which is a long time for Valks, uh, they're invincible and they can't be touched with that eternal tomb. So they're really going to wreck like half the core of the base by the time it wears off. And then at that point, the spells go down, so there's a rage, you know, a heal waiting on them. I think he might use a freeze, too. Uh, so by doing that, I think uh, that's the best combination of the Eternal Tomb and the spells, is to do the Tomb first, and then do the spells uh, afterwards. So you can see here the healers are keeping up both of those heroes, kind of switching back and forth between the Warden and the Queen. I've noticed that healers have been switching targets a little more. That might have been a, an effect of the update, I'm not sure, it's just something I've noticed. And uh, it's good and bad, but I think it's more good because uh, you want those healers healing whatever is uh, low on health and is getting targeted. Uh, just be careful on your queen walks that there's nothing like in range that the queen or that the healers could uh, go off onto to start healing. So anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at a Town Hall 9, two starring a Town Hall 10 base. This is uh, Anthony and he's doing it with a bunch of baby dragons, uh, which was interesting, but with these air defenses pretty deep into the base. Uh, especially compared to some layouts you see. I mean, they're, not that, they're semi deep into the base. Uh, all this trash can be taken out by these baby dragons because the archer towers aren't going to take them out immediately. Each baby dragon can get one or two buildings before it goes down, especially with them being spread out. They have that raged aura effect, so he's getting extra value for them. And just gets for like the nine baby dragons and the handful of minions he brings, gets about 30% of the base taken out. That frees him up just to do one big push. And he, he can do this because the town hall is so exposed that uh, really he doesn't need a whole lot to get to it. Um, and this gets him a lot of more percentage than if he had just made one big bigger push with his Valks and stuff. So uh, percentage is obviously easier to get outside the base than it is inside the base. So it does a great job with the baby dragons. 
and uh, they're only level one here too so to keep that in mind another thing he does is he lures out the CC troops because there's a hole in the base uh, courtesy of the base builder I guess made a mistake there and uh, uses a baby dragon to take out the CC troops and that's something that I think actually works very well because uh, inside the CC troops we have the, the skeletons which is the skeleton trap which will go down easily but also uh, those minions are going to get clumped up one shot from the baby dragon boom they're going to go down and then the balloons can't even target that baby dragon so it'll get right up next to them and that splash damage will get them down pretty quickly along with the queen which will help out also so good little combo there takes out the CC troops and uh, that's an effective way to do it if you're going to lure them out uh, for whatever reason but also bring in some bowlers here so a really interesting attack has bowlers has baby dragons just all that stuff going into the base uh, starting to use his spells here a rage the jump another rage he has a heal just using all four of his spells in this area uh, baby or the bowlers are doing their job here uh, they're taking out all these buildings and uh, those level three bowlers do quite a bit of damage actually more than you might expect and uh, their range also helps get a little bit extra percentage even after uh, the main troops have gone down. So anyway, awesome two star getting 68%, uh, which is high for even a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 10. This was a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10. So just awesome stuff there. Uh, one Town Hall 10 three star. And this is another base that isn't quite as common as the ring layout, but you see this kind of big core base with all the storages and the defenses in there and then like little compartments along the side. This is another base that you know I see somewhat often and Thor does an excellent job on it right here. It's pretty high level, you know, has the Inferno Towers up, has some of the cannons, a few of that stuff. So not the easiest base, a three star. Goes ahead and lures out the CC troops, has the poisons, and the queen takes it out as part of her walk. And one thing he does is that even though there are, he doesn't necessarily need to take out these buildings because that there's a wall that separates them. He's going to enter the bottom left com compartment right there. But by putting the king down in the wizards and the golem on that bottom side and the queen on the left, that just ensures the Valks aren't going to stray on him. Uh, the jump also connects the king so he meets up with the Valks. But he wants to make sure they actually go to the core. Even if the jump is down, the Valks can get weird. And if there's two buildings touching in another area, they might have just ran off to the side. So it does a great job creating the funnel being very diligent about that and it helps that there's that single inferno on the back end of the base and because of that uh, he can go ahead and heal his Valks and get pretty good value uh, at this point everything's going down the hogs went through getting great value for just a handful of hogs um, as most defenses are distracted on the queen and Valks and stuff and uh, last few defenses are about to go down go ahead and go times two as these last few go down to the hogs the king is still up still has the king's ability uh, the queen still up with her healers and then a few other troops helping <clears throat> to get the three star uh, an awesome attack to Thor. Alright, one more attack we're going to show and then we'll wrap this thing up. It is a going way down here for a Town Hall 9. Didn't have the t best Town Hall 9 bases, but I will show this one because it was an okay base and a very nice attack. We're looking at Shrek taking out uh, their number, what is this, 28? Yeah. And uh, he does have a little higher level hero, so i uh, got to acknowledge that this made the attack a little bit easier, but still very good uh, mechanics in the game, very good planning, and it's evident in the attack. Starts off with the queen walk, and you don't always have to start your queen walks in the corner. Sometimes there's just a natural funnel there. He dropped a wizard or two up top, took out a few buildings, and you can just plan it out in your head ahead of time. You know, the queen's naturally going to funnel down if I take out these buildings. Just go through that progression. Uh, uses that rage because there's the archer tower plus the CC troops so he needs to make sure his queen stays up for this has the poison as well and uh, show him keep moving take out that air defense uh, which will help protect the healers and then continue on her walk uh, so you can see he has the Valks it has a, quite a few hogs more than we see these days because Valks are so powerful but um, the queen goes ahead and targets the wall probably not intentional but I think uh, on the fly he kind of just adapts to it Drops down a few troops and uh, to create the funnel there for the Valks and everything's moving in. Has the wall breakers from the CC, which I don't think targeted the right wall because all it did was open up that cannon right there. The queen does go down because I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting her to enter the base and the sweeper and all that point defense uh, uh, ensured that she wasn't healed quick enough. So the queen does go down, 
but you can see the Valks uh, took the jump for the most part. The King did kind of make a little bit of a walk here uh, with the Valks going to the base, which is awesome. And then just uses a few hogs here. He's testing for that double giant bomb spot, which could be in there. Not the best spot, but it's definitely a possibility. You can see right here the bombs do start going off. So wants to make sure the hogs don't hit it. Goes ahead and is patient, saves those last few hogs for the back end of the base, and uh, is rewarded for it because he has a number of hogs still up, taking out these defenses, and the healers, at least the one healer, gets on the Valks and the King. So awesome attack to Shrek. Uh, you know, didn't have as many Town Hall 9 attacks to take from because there were so many uh, anti two star bases, but that uh, is definitely a good attack and wanted to show that one. So, anyway, uh, that's, the re that's the recap, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, good war to Genesis, and uh, hopefully, we can get to level 11 soon. Uh, yeah, we're getting up there, you know, about two thirds of the way, maybe. So, looking forward to being level 11, and hopefully, they'll add some perks there. Uh, which will be even more of an incentive to go up. So, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the recap. More videos coming, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.